Hello all, good afternoon. Welcome to the success story for uh, Partha Guha. <clears throat> Partha, am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, sir, you're audible. <clears throat> all right, first things first, congratulations. And uh, on this new journey that you are, you're going to just begin. Thank you. Um, so uh, this was, yeah, just, <clears throat> I think we had, this was a Sirpi, is it, the company? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, great. All right. So you have already started or you'll, you'll be joining soon? Sir, I have joined, but uh, I have no access to start the video. Uh, no, no, I meant, uh, have you already joined the company? Oh, sir, in the company, yeah, I've joined. Okay, all right, okay. <clears throat> all right, so... Uh, yeah, that, that's fine, Bartha. So that's all right. If you, the uh, video is having some uh, some trouble with Zoom. Um, okay, I have, all right. I didn't realize there was an access trouble. Hang on a second. Yes, sir. All right, can you try now? Yes, sir. It's good. So am I visible? Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. All right, Patan. So, uh, yeah, talk to us about your journey. How was it like? And uh, when when did you begin your course? When did you start off with data mites? Yeah. So uh, after uh, passing out uh, from the college, uh, I have joined. Uh, WebSkitters IT solution. Uh, that is a Kol Kolkata-based company, IT company. So I uh, I was a software developer there for eight months. Then I uh, I suddenly I switched to um, in data data uh, career. So I have uh, joined Data Mites for CDS course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what is it that you had studied? What's your background? So I have uh, completed my BTEC uh, in uh, electronics and communication engineering. Okay, wonderful. All right. This was here. Have you you studied? Oh, you studied in, in West Bengal. You said. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So and and the uh, program that you did with Data Mites was it offline or you completed it uh, online? No, uh, it was online. Uh, it's an online CDS course. Okay. All right. So CDS, it, and you you had finished your projects at the time of your uh, interviews. Yeah, I have uh, finished my uh, caption project uh, as well as the client project. Then I have uh, gone for the job ready assessment. After I uh, selected for from that, and they will uh, assign me a mock test, mock interview, rather. Okay, so coming from uh, electronics and telecom, did you have any exposure to uh, to programming? Yes, uh, uh, in college, uh, in uh, I knew uh, C plus plus Java, and then I have learned yeah. PHP. Uh, for the, uh, I I worked as a uh, backend developer in PHP. Okay. Then I have uh, after getting uh, in uh, data mites. I have learned uh, Python. All right. So having some background, it, it kind of helped you to to gain uh, you know a quick this thing into Python, is it? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, how how was it like? But how was the uh, how was the programming part like? So after uh, learning C plus plus Java, uh, Python is very easy to understand okay. to learn the syntax overall. So overall, Python is easy, and the data might uh, taught me well. And I have gone through the LMS stuffs, and it was okay. good. Okay. So when when was this? When did you start your program with uh, CDS? CDS program. Uh, it was like a fifth September batch. I see. Okay. <clears throat> so you would have completed by Jan or. Uh... Fair yeah, fair. I have completed by Jan, and after that, they give me uh, caption projects and client project. Okay. All right. And uh, 
coming to your um, uh, the uh, yeah so we we talked about programming all right so what about statistics uh, partha how how did you find the statistics statistics some... uh, i was very bad at set stats so yeah okay. uh, and in cds they told that uh, you you just have to uh, have the, have the knowledge of basic stats that the central tendencies mean median mode stuffs and you have to uh, have a knowledge good knowledge in testing the different test we have and that's it we that, that's all i know in stats right right <clears throat> okay all right and uh, what, what was what was uh, the machine learning part like so that was something completely new right yeah cuz it is completely new but uh, once you uh, have the, uh, the behind the you, once you get the behind maths uh, the algorithm mm -hmm. has so it is uh, very easy to learn okay okay so it was it was smooth for you what what, what was it like? how what was your uh, uh, study routine like uh, partha can you talk to us about that how how much or how often do you study like let's say in a week how many hours uh, during course uh, i have to study it every day so because of the, the, the i have classes and then after completion of course uh, the time was very less so i uh, it is depend upon the uh, the problem statement i find out then i try to work on that so it is, it is there is not a particular time to for me to uh, study it's minimum 2 uh, hours it's completely fine for me yeah okay so are, are you are you somebody who studies every day we have Sorry? different kind of, different kinds of students isn't it so what, yes, what type of yeah how how is it how is it that you approach your studies so first thing uh, i go, i have gone through the uh, the python uh, first i learned python Uh, after that uh, there is a uh, different uh, libraries that had uh, uh, numpy pandas after yeah, that so, um, so yeah we we got that that sequence so, so uh, in terms of how many how many hours you are putting in let's say in a day or are, are you studying every day right, throughout this program from september onwards yes sir so how many hours do you put in let's say in a week so in a week uh, during during the course uh, in a week i have to give 4 uh, hours a day uh, because i am the i am beginner that time so after the course okay. uh, it get reduced the time get reduced so i it 2 uh, hours 2 uh, hours a day it will be fine okay so you you started off with 4 hours every day and uh, later on as you got comfortable you you kind of reduced it somewhat right So yes, it was sir. it was still consistently you you put in two hours every day even towards the end. Yes. Right. Wonderful. Okay. Great. So that's uh, that is, yeah, that's a lot of commitment and that's something that uh, you know coming to a new field it's it it's pretty handy to build your foundations as well. So uh, yeah, cheers to that. Okay. So. <clears throat> all right. So. Partha, what was it like when you started off with your mock interviews? What was the what was it like with the pad team? Can you can you take us through that? Yes, uh, the mock interview went well. Uh, some of the concept that I have didn't uh, able to answer. So then uh, they told me then uh, again to prepare those topics again from the LMS stuffs. Then I have prepared those stuffs and the pad team sends uh, different jobs. and i have applied uh, after uh, before sirp i have given uh, four interviews so i have okay. got i have got rejected uh, mostly in second round so yeah that, that, okay. that's the, that's the thing so, so it's when you say this is you you were clearing the technical rounds is that right yes sir i uh, the first round is the uh, was a technical round it was good uh, for all the companies but uh, okay. in the second round uh, they have uh, asked some questions that i have uh, unable to answer so uh, they i have got rejected on the second second round in most of the companies 
Okay, so these these are uh, uh, the, what, what is the profile like? What is the role that you have? Um, in, yeah, one. At, at... Yeah, so uh, the first company I had, uh, it was uh, about business analyst. So I have a completely un unaware of business analyst stuff. So it went very bad. Then um, I have got uh, data science uh, job role, and yeah, the that was good in first round and in the second round uh, it went bad okay so uh, th this is the this is again technical like second round is also technical they are asking more deeper questions yes sir, yes yes sir. Uh, they said that uh, they will took uh, two technical rounds and if okay. i cleared that two technical round they will uh, push my profile into the third round that will be the hr round hr round yeah. Okay. 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 So what? What? So finally, you 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 kind of got an idea of what questions they were asking, and uh, that helped you with your final the one yes, that sir. you cleared. Yes, sir. Okay. Great. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll just take a look if we have any questions. All right. Deepak is congratulating you. All right. So that is. Um, Thank you. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, not sure if this is something to do with the settings. Okay, we can't see any questions coming in yet. Okay. So when you you have had the mock interview, did it, it was that you you had to give multiple? Did you take multiple mock interviews, or did you just finish in the first one? No. You no, I I just uh, appeared in uh, one appeared one mock interview, and okay. it was it was uh, I have to score a six plus on that. Uh, I got five point seven instead. So the PAT okay. team told me that uh, to go through the LMS stuff again to get prepared. Uh, in next month they will be uh, assigned me or uh, allot me a, a next mock interview. So uh, till okay. till that time uh, in between this uh, they have shared multiple. Uh, job descriptions so i have applied on that and the four companies that i have uh, got rejected earlier so on okay. that time i have got and these companies so after that uh, i take a uh, one week two week time and okay. again uh, uh, pat team sent the crp job profile and they got uh, instantly they took uh, two rounds uh, in consecutive three days so first two will be the technical and third one the HR round. So that was okay. went well. Great. All right. We have a question from Paki. Are you doing offline work or is it work from home? No, it uh, it is offline. I'm currently I'm in Bangalore, so I have shifted from uh, my home hometown to Bangalore recently. Okay. So there is you, you are going five days a work, uh, five days a week you go to office. Sorry. Every day you have to go to office, right? This is not it's not a hybrid. Also, so it is. No, no, it's it's not a hybrid. I have to go uh, five days a week. Right. And I have to go daily. It's a long journey. Okay. Oh, it's a long journey. Oh, how how much are you traveling? Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm uh, residing in. Uh, Sarjapura and okay. the, my, my office is in Hebel. So at oh, right, yeah, right. it takes uh yeah, it takes two hours to go and from office to my home it will take three hours in bus. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's the uh the hard yards you have to put in. Uh um, yes. okay. All right. So Okay. Um, okay. Delegate. I have a name as delegate. All right. I guess. So, what is the experience in data science? Um, Benson from Kenya. Does data mites assist in remote job placement? Um, yeah, that is something that uh, it's a work in progress, uh, Benson. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in in terms, there are candidates who have got placed. International candidates. Um, who have got positions in their respective countries, and uh, that is yeah. But uh, well, directly, it's it's not 
it's not part of the com comprehensive uh, PAC program as such, but uh, you can always inquire about this and uh, <clears throat> yeah, your, your counselor will be able to guide you further, okay? So uh, Deepak wants to know, Partha, are you a fresher or you have experience? Yeah, I have experienced in a software developer background, but in data science field, I, I am fresh. Okay, all right. So was it was it something that they took into account that you had some uh, some experience in software development when you appeared for interviews? Yeah, the uh, the concepts I, I used to uh, in apply on my uh, software developer uh, projects. So sure. I have used uh, SQL, the, the operations okay. on RDBMS, and it uh, it is helping me. In it is it helped me in uh, data science course, and the uh, the logic, the coding logic that I have used in my uh, projects, it will uh, it is help. Right. So, yeah. So that in, in general, yeah, if, when we have even when we're having freshers coming in who have uh, no programming experience, that that actually makes up bulk of the workforce um, as well in uh, in the uh, data data related professions. Yeah. Um, Eighty percent are really coming in from non technical backgrounds, and uh, they're able to pick up programming. They are able to understand the the base level understanding. So you know, once once you get the idea of the logic. Yeah. Um, you are in a pretty good place to program further. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Once you have a uh, grab on Python uh, from uh, from my perspective, uh, sure. uh, from my views, uh, it is easy. Once you grab a uh, knowledge on Python, okay. because okay. because in uh, to uh, in ML in ML section, you just have to write some code. You don't have to create the whole algorithm by yourself. It's just uh, it's just a thing like you are uh, importing uh, packages, libraries, the uh, predefined functions over there. It's like that. Great. Okay. Okay. Um, Joseph wants to know what kind of questions are asked in the technical round. Could you give some examples? Yeah. Uh, they have asked. Uh, they uh, they often asked from the uh, data types, uh, data structures we have in Python especially list dictionaries and couples they more focused on uh, dictionaries and the <clears throat> the the next is a function uh, the user defined function how we can define our own function then we have a special function called lambda functions so yeah and if you have knowledge on uh, uh, class and objects it will be helpful for you okay all right um, Paki wants to know what is your role in the job? What what do you do on a day to day basis? Yeah, I'm right now. Uh, I am working as a data scientist. Uh, right now, I'm, I am an intern. Yeah. Okay, so you're <clears throat> there's this bit of analytics involved. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Overall, uh, to model creation and. I have worked in object detection right now. Okay, great. Um, okay, so what package can we expect if there are two years experience in IT sector and shifting to data science? Yeah, I think uh, that would be the starting point, uh, Shikhar. So yeah, you, you could probably say, you know, it would be upwards of uh, five LPA. It also depends on you know how much uh, at, at that point you know uh, what they are open to offer, but uh, that would be the general um, general package, right? So uh, yeah, things change quickly once you start off, and uh, you know within a year or two, once you prove yourself, basically, uh, as Apartha said. So he's now when they when they start off, they are uh, taken as interns. It's it's a common practice. So you are you know. Um, before you get on to the um, you know, deeper part of their uh, hierarchy and the, the company structure, right? So <clears throat> if you are taken by Sirpi, how much CTC? All right, I, oh, okay. So that, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you don't have to 
I would not say he's, that that's uh, Partha's call if he wants to answer that. All right. Um, okay. So what, there's one question by Atasi Dalal. Rather than data mites, what other sources did you follow, Partha? Or was data mites stuff alone enough? Yeah, uh, data, uh, data mite LMS uh, is enough. Uh, the topic they have covered, the topic is enough. But you have to explore by yourself more on that topics. Uh, you can take uh, help of YouTube's videos, uh, Medium blogs. That will be enough. OK. So there is some structure in terms of what you get from uh, data mites. Yeah. And uh, you're, you're supplementing that, right? Wherever you feel you know you need to know more about a certain concept, yes. you can always. Yeah. So, uh, that is definitely encouraged as well that uh, you you get in from you know different sources. Um, yes. Yeah. At at times, yes, there is uh, the the idea is not to have sources which become you know contradictory, but it, it's more of uh, adding on to what information you gain. Um, yeah. In terms of a structure, it's it is pretty comprehensive um, in terms of the coursework that the uh, certified data science program has and the others as well. Um, yeah, so as Partha says, just to add to that, you, you have YouTube videos, you have blogs, you will have to, I guess, you know, you, you kind of develop, you know, your favorites in terms of, you know, which, which orator or, you know, which person you like listening to, whose YouTube channel you like more, whose blog you enjoy more. So um, from that point of view, yeah, it, it becomes an additional tool for you. Okay, so... Yeah, I think he just talked about what questions were asked. Um, Malinath wants to know in interview on which topic they are asking more questions. Uh, it depends. Uh, if they said uh, we, uh, they asked from Python, they morely, uh, uh, especially they asked uh, from the data structures that I have told, then they have uh, Ask uh, yeah, if that if you know the concepts of uh, class and objects, and these are the topics. And uh, they are also asked from uh, SQL. Okay. They have they have asked me that uh, what is the window window functions that I have didn't know about that window functions. So okay, that's a common question. What is what are the window functions? What are the purpose of window functions? That's it. All right. So the focus was more on Python and SQL. Yes, sir. Is that the key? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, what about uh, machine learning? Machine learning. Uh, uh, in my case, uh, I have uh, updated my uh, in my resume. I have written that okay. I have done this project, this project, and I have okay. also uh, uh, created a, a machine learning algorithm from scratch using Python. So okay. I okay. have, yeah. So. They have asked me that uh, to describe the, the the behind concept, the how you can uh, create the algorithms. So I have to describe right. the those, and they have asked uh, a question that is: uh, suppose you have these data sets and targets. So what will be the problem statement? What will be the uh, should I uh, apply regressor or classi classifiers to that? So this type of problems. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so it is still logic driven, you could say, in uh, in general, as they are switching from uh, topics to this and they want to check your conceptual understanding, right? Yeah. Okay, so Shashank is asking as a data scientist on what kind of project you are working? Can you throw some light on it? Uh, right now, or I have a project I have worked. I, I think he's referring to the job at the moment. At the moment, uh, I can share that. So, okay. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you, yeah, you don't have to go yeah. into the details. Uh, you know, just privacy the issues they have. All the stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think you, you, you know, in, if if it's an NLP project, let's say it's a computer vision, you know, that this is a general. Yeah, idea, uh, if you it's will. it's a kind of uh, mixed up with ML and deep learning projects. I have. Uh, I am working currently. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, for freshers, what's the package in data science? <clears throat> okay. 
Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll take that. So Atasi, we have, <clears throat> um, you are looking at about four to five LPA. It, it can go a little higher if you have some experience, but uh, yeah, that's the, the general starting point and uh, that does change pretty quickly. Okay, when you apply for these jobs, was it only through data mites placement or did you apply in any online website? No, uh, the, the, the jobs I have, uh, uh, <clears throat> I got, uh, it got from Pat team. All. all of them from Pat team, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Um, Kaveri wants to know, did they, did they ask about statistics and machine learning? Yeah, they, they, uh, will ask, ask you about the stats. The uh, stats means uh, about the test. We have the different tests we have, we used in our projects, the ML, the basic, the, the algorithms, we have linear regression, logistic regression, what is the background maths uh, they have used. So that's it. Okay. All right. Thing are we missing? Yeah, I think. Okay. Um. Yeah, Paki wants to know how long did it take for you to get the job after completing the internship? After the uh, internship, uh, I took uh, one uh, three weeks time to prepare myself. Then I have. Uh, uh, applied for the job ready assessment. After that, after getting selected, they, uh, I appeared for the mock interview and it uh, only takes uh, two and a half months to uh, get the job. Two and a half months after you have yeah. uh, done your, your projects. Yeah, I have okay. some uh, issues between that. So it takes this much long time. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, so it's, it's an average uh, window that you have and, uh, yeah, at times, you know, that, that wind can go up and down, but, yeah. uh, yeah, two months sounds, that's a good ballpark. All right. So there was one question, uh, Partha, if, if there is a need to write and explain codes in the interview round. Yeah. You have to share your screen. Uh, they will, uh, post you some questions about the Python, you have to uh, answer it and you have to write the code in front of them. Okay. All right. Are you working in a team or standalone? I am working in a team. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, it should be a team. That's, uh, yeah. that's the whole idea, of, you know, that you would you would learn better on faster on the job. Um, Saif wants to know: Was the Python taught in data mites enough to crack the interview? Yeah, that uh, topics covered by the data mite uh, topics are enough, and um, and you have to explore by yourself the in-depth concepts of all you have to practice on the all questions, different questions you have, the strings, is dictionaries, you have to do that by yourself. Right. Okay. So there are practice, I, there, there were some assignments and uh, practice yes. questions. Then. Yeah. Okay. All right. So who, who was your trainer for Python, Partha? Nikhil Nisarg. Uh, sorry, Nisarg Nikhil. And uh, Jivita, ma'am. Okay, both of them. All right. So, yeah. uh, okay, wonderful. All right. Um, interview questions are asked in English or any other language? Only in English. Only in English. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they would keep it professional. Uh, you know, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So, that is, you know, something that. Uh, is expected after getting selected you have to converse in english there is no other language to converse so you have to speak in english all right okay yeah so 
are they taking any coding test? Yeah, I think he's uh, uh, already talked about that. So that uh, there, there is a, uh, a pr procedure for, you know, not only writing the code, you have to explain what you have done as well. Interviews are online. Joseph wants to know if it's online or walk-in. Yeah, because uh, due to, uh, I am, I'm not in Bangalore and that time. So it was okay. all, all about online things, my course and interview stuffs. Okay. All right. Um, Paki is asking if they were any, there were any questions related to deep learning? Yeah, they will ask you uh, from the deep learning. Uh, if you know, it's fine. If you don't know, also fine. Because they have asked me about the CNN and stuff. I said that I have no idea on that. So they said, yeah, it's okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah. We, uh, I think there was, so that's, that's an intro, introduction, kind of more of an introduction given to deep learning. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there is, you know, that I think as a, as a start off, probably they don't expect that, you know, you have uh, too much of uh, details in that. Yes. Great. Um, that's a wonderful, Partha. And uh, thank you so much for, for being with us here today and uh, sharing all your insights. Thank you, right? sir. And uh, yeah, and yeah, wish, wish you all the very best. Congratulations once again. So, thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah.